What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. Sort of running off where we left off. We are attacking the Prussian capital of Berlin. And let's hope that we can, well, effectively just utterly destroy them. And this will be the first time we are using the, 95th, the glorious 95th and just regular Rifleman in this battle. So let's get to it. Uh, forward to this. Because, to be honest, as much as I really, really, really like um, Empire, the battles in Napoleon are just so much, so fun. Because they're much more in my mind while I'm thinking, what I'm kind of imagining and picturing the era to be like. Oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes. So, the glorious nine pounders. They can make a bit of a mess at distance, at range. So let's deploy them on a bit of a bit of a rise. Same with these chaps, these guys can make a bit of But to be honest, I think I might need to deploy my how my artillery out on the field. Or more on the field. So well, effectively combine them to be a grand battery so they can get more, they'll do more stuff on the open field. And let's take, uh, oh, let's have a look, okay, let's have a look at the Connacht Rangers. They look darn good. They look really lovely to me. Good. Let's get the regular riflemen. Of course, they also look brilliant with their Baker rifles. They've even got the patch box on. The muzzle's a bit funny. But still, I'll take it. I could recognise it as a Baker rifle. And here's the glorious 95th. I'm not sure what the difference is. I think it's the silver detailing on the front of the jackets. Yeah, so their officer's got it in this unit. And they've got a bit more of a... A bit more of a less detailed front. And the 95th have got these... They've all got these much nicer uniforms, and ironically, I was about to say, I thought he was the officer, he's the bugler. Good, lovely stuff. So, I want all my cavalry out, out on the flank. Let's take a decent core of my infantry. Deploy my rifles in skirmish order. Then I'm going to want a amount of troops, not to advance in the town, but to head in that direction so I can set my howitzers up. My general in the centre, so this general, my general, this general is actually going to be fairly green. Okay then. You're telling me this like I don't know. So that's my, art my artillery is opened up. Although, to be honest, it looks like they're coming our way. Yeah, you could definitely be tricked into thinking they're coming straight for us. You're all focusing on that unit. I don't want you to do that. Yeah, they're even coming out over here. If I can may pull one of my one of my cavalry units back around okay let's get into, get into a position to soften up the militia before my cavalry getting get involved
You're not going to take advantage of your range. However, at least the rifle brigades are engaging. Let's push my cavalry up. The armed citizenry is broken. Unlimber my howitzers and get ready just to fire off bucket loads of gunfire. Armed um, citizenry. Go, go, go. 15th. This is a special unit as well, isn't it? I'm not quite sure what 15th did. Oh god, I didn't realise there was a garrison right there. So they've broken, so then go straight on into the old into the armed citizenry. No, actually pull them back. Nico's making a break for the border. My house is firing. They are. Yep, I'm dropping shells into Berlin. So my rifle would have been carrying this engagement currently. Although they will soon be passing into the sights of our regular infantry. Still popping shots off. Let's draw them back. Because now the main force is starting to get involved. Get back and smash into the armed citizenry unit. There we go. And now the main battle line has been met. Strength the armed citizenry. So I'd like to stage a breakout of my cavalry if possible. My cavalry's been engaged, so you hit the fusiliers. You pivot. Oh, okay, retarget my artillery. Onwards into the armed citizenry. Because otherwise they're going to turn and shoot at us. Is enemy general dead? Where did he get to? Sure, where he got to. You men capture this bluff inside the woods, and he ran towards my line. That's where he went. Just ride them down. Let's go 
a rifleman to secure this hill. Begin to rotate my troops. So two of my gunners hit... Oh no, to be honest, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a mess route. Lovely stuff. Charge straight in, I think. These men capture this hill. You men push up. These men engage the Landwehr garrison with bayonets. Get all my artillery. Begin to hit these units that are close. Bring my riflemen down. I think I'm going to continue just to mop up all of these troops. The general got left behind. Let's triple speed it. So my light dragoons out here have not been doing such a great job. So I may as well use this as an opportunity to farm kills. Okay, now you bail on those guys and come back here now. Add your swords to the slaughter. Temporarily. Now it's just been a bit of a slaughter. Because it absolutely always feels worth, you may as well do this, it adds, makes your units better, I like to think it makes my general better, it kind of feels more fluffy because it feels like, well not, f not necessarily fluffy or thematic, but you know, it feels like my general's a fighting general, not a not a not just a staff general, you know, he actually gets stuck in and does things that's how I like to imagine it anyway Okay, who can you kill? Get everyone on. These 52 men, these Prussian grenadiers, we've been routed from your homes and now the treacherous British dogs won't even let you flee the field. Oh, there's some over here, that's why they're going crazy. They're going after the, the stragglers. Oh, and there's some over here too.
keep you guys over these guys over here. Ah, got oh, they managed to flee. Dang it! Still though, that is an extreme uh, fortified Berlin. Because we are, ex I, we should expect numerous rebellions. We are going to. Well, actually, you know what? We're going to occupy it. Cause we don't. We don't. That's a load of money, but it's a lot of grief. And we've got plenty of money as it is, so we can afford to occupy it. Let's rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Build a small star fort. Good, and we're going to replenish in extremely quick time. Ooh, and I also get a new school at Magdeburg. So let's get you on... Probably something not super expensive. So I'm probably going to want Oxford to go on to something like... National, pro National Propaganda. Let's get Magdeburg on. Steam Locomotive. Because even though it's added time onto the research... Oh, do you standard I... No. Oh yeah. Let's make it a modern university. Cool. Let's take my agents, James Robertson and have him infiltrate Stettin. Good. Good, good, good. We're still under siege to the south. With quite a significant Prussian force coming to attack us. You're going to continue your push to Vienna. Oh no, not that way. You're going to go this way. Then I may take William de Dornberg with his Venice garrison, his current Venice garrison, and then get up to Innsbruck to provide some support. Let's upgrade Venice a bit and let's recruit some more foot as a bit of a garrison. Perfect. Oldenburg, can you now leave Oldenburg? You can, and they will not absolutely hate you. Resupply, rebuild the supply post. Some women are going to go after Schwerin, but I'm going to want to do. Can you get around? You have to go through here. Because I can't get through the, the woods here. Damn, I wanted to try hit Prague. So let's bring you down to here. Oh, okay, this is Saxon territory. Well, to be honest, let's bring you up here. Well, no, actually, wait here. Because you may, if I declare war on Saxony... Oh, I'm too much, I might have to declare on Mecklenburg. But once I've secured this area a bit more to knock out... Karsten Car Hartmann, maybe. But let's let that punishment happen. Bring Wellesley down to attack these two cads. Nope, they've fallen back. How about yourself? Do you want some? <laughs> they do want some. So I'll just do an auto. Hold just out of attack range. Then Bob Crawford. He's going to storm over the bridge and hit Munich. Perfect. That's what's going to happen. Actually, eh, hold on. I want to make sure nothing, I've not forgotten anything else because I don't want to accidentally go and just auto hit end turn next turn. Everyone else seems okay. I'm already getting ready to recruit a new, <laughs> a new army. So let's get another unit of rifles. Good. Dragoon guards. Delicious. It is tempting to send them around to hit Bucharest and start to nibble away at, at Prussian strength. Because to be honest, they're well they're not bad up here. Well no, they have a, they've advanced further than you'd think. Somewhere in Austria though, you're gonna get it too. Probably once I've denatured the 
They've also captured, hopefully, Stettin, Prague, Vienna, Munich. I've got more of a front line to then risk attacking Austria, because I can hit Zagreb quite quickly and hit um, Budapest. But without Vienna, uh, Austria, Hungary's not got, they haven't got that large town to fight from, so their capital is currently Croatia, Zagreb. Um, but yes, anyway, Bob Crawford, let's hit Munich with Wellesley in support. Perfect. This is what happens, Prussia. You declared on me by God, and you will suffer the consequences. I need I need to double check how my garrison of Copenhagen is looking, um, because it's, at any point now Sweden's going to declare on me. I suspect because they they're probably like Empire. They want to go for Copenhagen. Oh, this is a lovely hill to deploy my artillery on. Ooh, pity is a mix of nines and sixes. So if I deploy my nines up here, yep, my nines can do some good work. I'm probably going to want to bring up my. Well, if I deploy my sixes, what can they do? Well, they can hit their artillery, and that's not a bad thing to do off the bat. So let's take my. Highlanders and some Grenadiers. That's this side of the line, then this side of the guns. It's going to be my Marines with the Black Watch and some foot units. Yeah, I'll do. My light infantry is going to deploy in front of my guns. How else is going to be ready to move? Uxbridge is going to be on the right. Uh, Dragoon Guard's going to be on the left. Bob is going to be in the centre-ish. So let's push up. Let's barrage their artillery. Because it's better... Well, I figure the more damage I do to their... The more damage I do to their uh, artillery before it gets into a position to do damage to me, the, the better. on Bob Crawford he's not taking any nonsense the cavalry is charging My Highlanders are getting picked off. So my sixes, let's limber you up and move you towards this section of ridge. Not Bob. Don't hit Bob. Unlimber the howitzers. Tear him open.
drop exploding shells on them. Ski you lads on up here. Then let's deploy. Begin to deploy these traps a bit more conventionally. Yep, house has got good range. There you go, he's having to having to drop off do some morale boosting stuff. These guys are getting left up, left behind a little bit. You guys could do with actually being a bit more like this. the dragoons, the howitzers are going in. Spin you guys around a little bit. If they don't want to play. Life tree's not going to do anything really. There we go, we're pouring in. Go after support. Oxbridge on one flank, heavy dragoons on the other. Chomp. It's not their general, sadly, but we can only do what we can do. Oh, that's a friendly fire, how it's a shot. Prussians have gone into melee combat with me. Okay, you guys need to fall back actually a little bit and set up on the hill. Into the backs of the guns. There's enemies. Yeah, they are enemies. Go, go, gadget, Crawford.
Oh no, six pounds didn't even get a job. Who's shooting at them? My nine pounders? No, don't you do that. You shoot at that militia unit that's currently got no one to go for. No, you go for that unit of dragoons that's round the flank. Here goes both form square. Give me nine pounders, both go for that unit of Prussian militia. Yet yeah, they've shattered. Advance up. Go off the Union of Musketeers that are beginning to reform. Let's bring Goga Gadget Crawford back. Let's shoot the living crap out of these guys. We should let's see if we can break this square. Nope. <laughs> Curious. Get you guys back. Who's come on? Both of you. Bay in charge of the town. Ah, we form square to protect ourselves from cavalry. But what about these angry Scotsmen? The 49th. Oh, they do have, we do have the 48th. Here come the British Grenadiers. Destroyed, and let's turn off all of my artillery. Musketeers have fallen. These chaps are broken. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's two Prussian. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. We shall not be liberating them, for they are ours. Let's occupy. We don't need the money now. Upgrade, upgrade. Court of Appeals. New roads. Excellent. You're replenishing nicely. And then suddenly you chaps look mighty vulnerable. Let's see if they see this as impetus to attack us in order to get somewhere secure to replenish. Because right now, they've got nowhere. These guys are utterly trapped. And looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the capture of two key Russian cities. Prussian cities, sorry. And I will see you next time for the continuing adventures of Great Britain. All right. Cheers, guys.